I am the bait. Rians is after me. Yes, which means he wants you alive and me very much not alive. You see my anxiety. We're not going to let anything happen to you, yes, dear. I saved your ass once. I can do it again, Pankrat. You didn't save me. She didn't save me. She... <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> but seriously, though, you are going to save me, though, right? Here's everything you need to know before watching The Witcher Season 3. Ciri has lost everything. Her mum, a princess, and her dad, a porcupine, long story, are gone. Her grandmother is gone, even her home was destroyed. She's been roaming the continent, desperately trying to find out who she is. Due to an old prophecy being fulfilled, Ciri is under the care of Geralt. Fuck. Who, after some, let's call it reluctance, helps her to train. She's basically a witcher, but without like a full witcher license. She also has elder blood, which means she is extremely rare, and thanks to more prophecies and some very corrupt politics, explains why pretty much everyone is after her. Oh, and remember her dead dad? Yeah, no, he's not dead. As revealed at the end of season two, he's back and running an extremely powerful kingdom that wants to rule the continent. Over to Yennefer. Oh! Oh, she's so scary. She is an extremely powerful sorceress, or mage, although at one point she lost her powers entirely. To get them back, she betrayed two of the most important people to her, Geralt and Ciri. She also disobeyed the powers at Aretuza, which is the school where she learned to master her magic. It's safe to say her relationships are pretty poor all around at this stage. I guess in season three, we'll find out if she can mend them. And now to Yaskia. What? Also known as the Sandpiper, the Bard, and a total love rat, if you ask some people. Quite a, quite a few people, actually. Last season, he got into a spot of bother involving some elf smuggling, but was saved by Yennefer. He was then pursued by a man Geralt likes to call Firefucker, put in prison, saved from prison, and then involved in a really big scrap. It's been a, a busy old time for the bard. Oh, gosh. Ooh. And finally, Geralt. His journey has seen him go from a monster-killing witcher who seemingly doesn't care about human emotion to now being a father figure.